Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So before we even get started with this tutorial, I want to apologize for my air conditioner running in the background. It's too hot to shut it off, so I apologize. Um, but anyway, today's tutorial, I wanted to go for something that you guys can make as a gift set. So I designed these wash rags, or dish rags, whatever you wanna call them. They're little flowers on just a double crochet, you know, background, and they're really easy to make. I walk everything through you guys, and then I get these bars of soap. Oh, let me show you this one. These bars of soap, I just get them from Ross for four bucks. I'm gonna peel that little sticker off. This one's got, I've had this one for a while. But all I do is I get a bar of soap, and then I kind of match the colors with it. So you can tell the, the green and the, fuchsia and then on this one that blue matched that perfect and then I just add like a coral color to it and I wanted this bow to lay this way but it won't stay it wants to just go right back to this way but I wanted to show you guys I've got these gift or I mean you know wrapped up in a bow a couple different ways so this one I will show you what I did. I just folded folded it over and then over like this and did the same thing with this one. Let me show you this real quick and then open them, take this one to the inside, sandwich this, sandwich this and tied the bar of soap on the top. And then this one, I actually just laid the two wash rags, dish rags, whatever, on top of each other, took the bar of soap, put it in the middle, and then I ran the, uh, the ribbon through the wash rag with the needle. Real easy to do. And then, uh, if you need to know how to uh, tie a bow, YouTube, best thing. <laughs> That's how I did it, and I didn't do a very good job. But this one, I thought about you know just folding in half just like that and you know maybe going straight in the center to the side and then going through the through the wash rack like I did that one and all I did was just use 3 8 or that white one this white one is a 5 8 inch ribbon but you guys can come up with all different ways how you could want to do it um, I just wanted to show you real quick those are what I come up with so let's talk about this is the one we're gonna make in the tutorial all right so I used peaches and cream, which is a very, very stiff cotton. It is 100% uh, cotton. It suggests a uh, five millimeter. This is the color gold, and you will need 120 yards, okay? And a four millimeter crochet hook. Scissors, needle to weave in your ends, the ribbon if you want ribbon to tie up your gift set and then I highly recommend just for the till you get the hang of it oh, I about lost it two stitch markers or whatever you want to use to mark your stitches and we only use that for the flower part just so we you know you guys get a hang of what you're doing and then you won't need them anymore so I suggest just at the beginning two stitch markers all right so now I want to tell you guys that I do show you how to work your flower in a different color in case you wanted to work, you know, something like this. Um, I don't show you until the end, so I work our rows, work our rows, work our rows, and then to this very last one is where I show you how to work the flower in a different color. Um, the, the main reason I did that was because I wanted to make sure everybody understood this flower 100% and then let me show you how to do, you know, advance it just a touch. That's why it's at the end. If you guys want to watch the tutorial, watch what you're, you know, learn what you're doing and then fast forward to the end to see how you do the different color. Or, you know, you may know, be able to do it on your own. And then we work the border. And that's it. So then you just make up a whole bunch and then get them together as little gift sets. I thought that was cute. I thought you guys might like it. But anyway, all right. Is there anything else I need to talk about? I don't think so. I think I've covered everything. 
So go ahead and get your, oh look, what if I tied it like that? I don't know. Anyway, get your guys' supplies together and let's get started. All right, so to get started, go ahead and pause right here and get a chain of 37 done and then come back and we're gonna get started with row one real quick. All right, sorry about that weird cut. All right, so get your chain of 37 done and we are going to, we're going to start by working a half double crochet into the third chain from our hook. So we have one, two, and right there is three. So we're gonna half double crochet right in there. And now if you need to, you can go ahead and place one, sorry, bump my camera. You can go ahead and place one of those stitch markers in that chain. All right, now all we're gonna do is work half double crochet into each of the chains all the way down. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get mine done off camera and I'll come back when I'm at that very last chain. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I have worked that down my chain. Now into that very last one, we're still gonna work that half double. All right, now chain one and turn. And for row two, we're gonna work a half double right back into that very first, or I'm sorry, a double crochet right back into that very first half double. And then work a double crochet into each half double all the way down. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and work this, and when I come back, I'll work into that last half double, and then we'll go into the top of that chain too. So I'll, I'll be right back. All right, so I made it down. I've got that last half double to work into. So I'm gonna half double into there. And then you can see the so here's a chain we skipped and here's a chain we skipped at the very beginning. So I'm gonna half double crochet into the top of that chain two, the skipped chain two. Now you should have 36 double crochet, all right? So for round or row, three, four, and five, we're gonna chain one, turn, double crochet into that very first double, and then double crochet into each double crochet all the way down your work. Chain one, turn. Double into each double, chain one, turn. All right, so this is row three. Repeat that for uh, finish row three, then four and row five, and I will come back when we get to the end of row five. All right, so I'm coming to the end of row five. I have that very last double to work into real quick. All right, so for row six, chain one and turn. And now you still should have 36 double crochet. I'm gonna go ahead and count just to double check. Three, six, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 34, 35, 36, all right, good deal. Okay, so now we are going to start the flower row. So I kind of want to give you guys a little bit of an idea of how this works. Let me pull you back. Just this way, there we go. All right, so what we have, so we have three flower row, two flower row, three flower row, right? So what we do to get the three flowers is we divide the 36 three ways. And then on the two flower rows, well, I'm sorry, I should have explained that better. So what we have is the 36 double crochet, right? There's something on there. So we start off with, we, we need to separate the 36. So we start off with six flower, 12 double crochet, flower, 12 flower, six. So that's 12 and 12, 24 
30, the six we do here, and then the six at the end is 36. So that's how we get our three flowers. So then for the two flower rows, we only need to separate it into three even parts. So 12, flower, 12, flower, 12. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe you guys didn't even need to know that. I don't know. I just thought I'd explain that to help out just a little, you know, explaining with how I how I come out how I figured out to do the three flowers and then just the two. Then the three and just the two. Alright, so to start with the three flowers, we're gonna double crochet into that very first double. So double right back in there. And now double into the next five, so that gives it gives us a set of six double crochet. All right, so that should be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six doubles right here. All right, now what we're gonna do is go to the very next double and we're going to work a front post double chain three six times around this post and then what we're going to do so we're going to work down this post rotate around and then work up the double crochet that we've already double crocheted into so if you think you're going to have any issues with this at all don't be afraid to get if i can reach them to get you some stitch markers and just for these first, you know, just when you're learning what to do, just to help you out, we're going to mark these first ones. You know, and after that, once you get the hang of what you're doing, then you don't have to use them anymore. Or you may not even have to. But I'm going to mark this very, well, not the one I'm getting ready to work into. Okay, so I just explained how we're going to work that flower, right? We're going to work six double crochet chain threes down this, and we're going to come over and work up this double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this one. So you guys, or you guys go ahead and mark the post of the double crochet that you just double crocheted into. See, it's our last double. That's the one we just worked into. Go ahead and mark that so you don't lose sight of where that one's going to be. Now what I want you to do is the very next double crochet, take your stitch marker and mark the top of that right through both the loops of the top of that double crochet right there and I'll show you that in uh, just a second okay all right so I'm gonna get back on my hook I'm gonna get this stitch marker out of the way now the very next double crochet we're gonna go front post chain three so that was one now we're gonna work five more down this post. So I find it better, and I already did it if you guys caught that, pinch your work in half and lay it to the side. So right there is the post, I'm trying to stretch everything out, right here is the post we're working around. So we need six double crochet chain threes. So we have one, go right back around there with two, And you're going to have to scoot your work over as you go. So here's three. Here's four. Here's five. I'm going to scooch that over. And here's six. Don't forget that six chain three, okay? So there is one side of our flower. Now we need to work around this post. So we're gonna come up this side. So we're gonna turn our work completely over so I can fold it and then there's the double crochet that I need to stand straight up. The post facing straight up so I know exactly that's where I'm gonna work into. So we're gonna work six up this side and I'm gonna go ahead and work the first one, and then I'll go ahead and remove that stitch marker. If you don't want to remove it, you want to keep it to keep, you know, to help yourself and you don't have to remove it, you can keep it where it's at. All right, so that's one. Two. 
Dang it. Two. That was three. Here's four. Five. One more. Scooch it down. Six. Don't forget that last chain three. All right, so now you can pull up your work, pull up your loop, and then get that back to the way everything's facing to the front, okay? So now what I want you to do is kind of pull that back, and you see the very first double crochet coming from this side, that very first double we worked the front post around that post. So if you need help finding it, lay your work down and then count. One, two, three four, five, six, and here's the first one around the post, the first double crochet of the flower, I'll say. We're going to go right into that and work a slip stitch and chain one. And now here's where that back stitch marker comes in handy. So what we're going to do, if you fold half of that over, can you see where the legs of all the front posts we work around that double? If you follow that all the way to the top, there's a little bitty <laughs> top of a double crochet that we need to work into. And that's why I marked it so you guys could, you know, to kind of help you guys out whenever you're first working these flower stitches. Because when I first started this, I missed that a hundred times. <laughs> but all you do, once you finish your flower, slip stitch to that first double, chain one, Fold that back and then look at all the legs right here. We've got all those legs of those doubles. Bring that all the way to the top. Lay that to the side and then turn and right there's the top of that double crochet that we need to work into. So let me show you a perspective without this stitch marker. Say you just worked your flower. Get it all kind of squished around the way it would if we just worked it. We just worked the slip stitch into the top of our first front post. Chain one and now fold that over and then look here's all of our legs around that post follow that up and then turn it this way and right there is the top of the double crochet we need to work into All right. so get your hook back in there and we're going to double crochet right into the top of that rotate it if you need to well get in there so that's one. Now we need to have 12 double crochet. Remember how I showed you that we have the six flower and then we're gonna count 12. And that's what's gonna help keep the three flowers nice and uh, evenly spaced. So we've already got one and we need 12. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I'm going to double check that. We have, and you can look at your posts to see where you're at. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, perfect. Now we're going to repeat the flower again. So if you need to, don't be, you know, don't, what's, what's the word I want to say? Don't, don't be afraid to use stitch markers. Once you get this down, it's going to be a lot easier. But if you, you know, you have a hard time with stitch identification, stitch markers are the way to go. And once you, you understand what you're doing, then you're not going to need them at all. All right, so we're going to mark the double crochet that we just doubled into. Work that, or mark that post. Just so you don't lose, lose track of that. And then take another one and mark the top, right through both the top of the loops. 
just so you you know keep track of where that double is. All right. So we are going to front post around the next double and chain three. And like I said, I find it very helpful. Just pinch your work in half, rotate it to where the post that we're working around is facing straight up. So we need six. We've got one, two, three, scooch it over. That's four, that's five, and one more, four, six, and double check that, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now I'm just going to completely rotate it around until the post of the double that I need to work around now is facing up, just like that. I'll go ahead and work one, I'll stop and remove my stitch marker, get that out of the way. Like I said, you don't have to remove it if you don't want to. All right, so that's one, two, Three, slide that over, four, five, one more, one, two, three. All right, so there's six. Now unfold everything, get that straight, is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah it is, I don't know why that looks so funny. I'll show you guys how I undo all these flowers in a minute, but, alright, so we got our six, and now if you need to, you can go ahead and count your twelve, or, you know, you can just look, one, two, three, four, five, there's the very first one, is six. So I'm going to slip stitch into the first double of our flower, chain one. I'm going to bring that back and look at all the legs we have right there. Follow all those legs to the top. And here's a really good example of how, if you don't mark that, for, that double crochet, how it can get a little tricky to see. And if you turn right there, you can see the top of that double crochet that we've got to work into. That's the top of the post that we worked around, right? Right there. We're going to double crochet into that. So there's one, and we need 12 again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, so now before we start our next flower, let's stop because we need to make sure we've got six double crochets left, and that lets us know we're on track. One, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one is laying a little cockeyed, so you just got to turn it. So then you've got your six double left, so perfect. We're right on count with our 36 double crochet. Now, if you do the last 12, right, and we're getting ready to do that, our last flower, but before you do your last flower, and you count and you have five left, or you have seven left, something is wrong. So stop, pull up, your, pull up a loop, and turn your work over, and can you see our flowers? and you don't see the top of any double crochets at all, right? Let's 
because we've worked into them. That's how we don't lose our stitch count when we work the flowers. All right, so let's say, um, let's say you do see the top of a double right here that you know you accidentally worked in. I'll just I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. It'll take me like two seconds. Let me pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I worked my 12 double crochet, right? Now I stop before I start that last flower and I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five. I'm off somewhere. So again, pull up a loop, take your hook, hook out, flip your work over, okay? So if you look, look at the back of my flowers. There's no showing double crochets. All of them are worked into. And I can go ahead and count one, two, three, four, five, six we already we worked around the first one so <laughs> all right so we got rid of six and then we should have our 12 and now into the next flower and I look and I don't see any exposed doubles right here but I come to the top can you see it you see the top of that double crochet I skipped where'd my hook go right there that's the one I worked around and I, I didn't get into the top of it like I was supposed to. So that's how I'm off at this end. And it, you know, if you're off in other places, just stop and count. You know, count, uh, count your six, 12, 12, and it should be six and you're off somewhere. And you, you've got to fix it because the next rounds, or the, oh, sorry, I keep saying rounds, the next rows, we've got to have that 36 double crochet count. So I'm going to pull that out and again, bring this step back, follow my legs up and hidden right in here is the top of the double that I need to, I should have worked into. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pause again and uh, get these 12 doubles worked. I'm not going to make you guys watch me do that, but I will be right back and we'll start this last flower. All right, so I've got my 12. I counted my last ones, which I've got six. Perfect. All right, so again, now I'm going to work this flower without marking. If you are going to, if you do want to mark, mark the post of the double crochet you just worked into and then the very top of the next double crochet. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go around the post of the very next double with six double and chain threes. So one, and I fold my work just to help me work this. There's one, two, here's three, Here's, I hate it when that happens. When you work a double crochet after a, tr a chain and it gets looped around like that, that drives me insane. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and very last one is six. Don't forget that chain three. All right, so now we're gonna just completely turn our work around, do, 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 just like that. And now I'm gonna pinch it, and you can pull on the post if you want to to help it stand out. Or push it up from the back. All right, now we're gonna work our six double chain threes around this post. One, down. That's three. Four. There's five. And the very last one six and don't forget that last chain three all right so now I'm gonna unfold my work bring everything back together and you can see 
the very first front post that we worked. Slip stitch right into there. Chain one, and now fold this half of your flower over and look at all those pretty legs right there. And if you rotate just a little, you'll see the top of that double crochet that's hidden, okay? That's where we've got to work that first double. So if you need to move everything around a bit, right there it is. So get in there with one, and now double crochet into the last five, which is going to be six, so I would just work that first. So it's one, this is two, three, four, five, and six. Pull up my loop. So this is what your flowers are going to always look like. They, they, they will not lay flat. I mean, you could glue them, I guess, but, or stitch them down, but they're not going to lay flat. All I do is I come in here and I scooch these down, just give them a tug, and scooch these down, separate the flowers out, and that's how they lay like that. But they're going to get all bunched back up while I'm working the rest of this wash rag. Right there, and there's an, this one. So basically what I'm doing, when we worked this half of the flower, we scooched everything this way. So now I'm just taking it and pulling it down. This half of the flower, we scooched everything that way. So I'm just pulling it down. Giving it a nice tug, move the stitches around, loosen them up. And there you go. All right, so that was uh, row six. So, I'm gonna hook back, row seven, chain one and turn. And now you can see all the posts of these double crochets that we're gonna work across. All we're doing for row seven is double crocheting straight across. Now this is the row I like to double check my count. So I make sure I have six, 12, six, or uh, 12, and then my six. You guys don't have to do that. I mean, technically you just did it whenever you worked the flower row, but I don't know. I just, it's my way of double, double checking that I'm right. All right. So we're going to double into that very first double, double into the next five, which gives us our six. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is take our flower, I just kinda like pull it away from our work, lay it to the side, and right there's your very next double crochet. So it, and another way, you know, to keep track that you're not working into something in the flower that you're not supposed to be, you just count. We did our six, so now count off 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Ooh, I split that, eleven, and 12 and to, I'm to my next flower so all I do is just take my two fingers this is my middle finger and my pointer finger and just pull that away from my work and lay it to the side right there's the top of my very next double and you can count it off again one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and there's twelve. Take my fingers, kind of pull that away from our work, lay it to the side. There's my very next double, and it should be six. One, 
two, three, four, five, and the very last one is laying a little cockeyed to the side, so get in there. And there are six. Perfect. All right, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for row eight and nine, I want you guys just to repeat the, uh, the row two. Just double crochet into each double. Chain one, turn, double crochet into each double. So we just did seven, so go ahead and do eight and nine, double into each double. Chain one, turn, double into each double. And I will come back once I finish my row nine and we will start the uh, the two flower row. All right, so I will be right back. All right, so I just finished row nine. You can see I double crocheted all the way across into that very last double. So now we are going to chain one and turn, and we're going to start row ten. And row 10 is only the two flower row. So, like I explained earlier, we're gonna separate these 36 double crochets, flower here, flower here, into three equal parts. So to do that, we do, please focus here. Ugh. All right, so to do that, we're gonna double crochet 12, flower, 12, flower, 12, okay? So, let me get my work back on my hook, or just completely miss it. <laughs> Chain one and turn, and we're gonna double crochet into the very first double, and then into the next 11. So for a total of 12, 12 double crochet. So there's one, two, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do all 12, I'll be right back. All right, so I did the 12 double crochet, and we're gonna start our flower, and remember, if you need to use those stitch markers, go right ahead. So we are going to work the six double crochet chain threes down this post, rotate six double crochet chain threes up this post. So I'm gonna go right in here with the front post double, and pinch my work in half, and just turn it sideways. Chain three, so that's one, There's two. Scoot my work over. There's three. Two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One more. Six. Don't forget that chain three. All right, so there's the first half of our flower. Now we're just gonna completely turn our work around and I'm gonna fold in half and go right around the post of that very next double. One. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five. One more for number six. One, two, three. All right, so now we bring our flower back together, unfold our work, find the very first up, uh, double crochet that we worked the post. So you can see it laying right there. We're gonna slip stitch into that chain one and now just fold this flower back over and look at those legs of your doubles and follow that up and then hidden right back here is the double crochet that we need to work into so there's one 
dang it. One. All right, now we need 12 to separate our flowers, right? So we just worked one. So now go ahead and double crochet into the next 11. And I'm going to get mine done off camera so you don't have to watch me work all 12 of these. But I think while I'm talking, I can get them done real quick as long as I don't mess up or accidentally split my yarn. This cheap cotton sometimes can be the biggest pain in the butt to work with. I love it, especially for, you know, just quick little projects, but man. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't even count. I was just working and talking. All right, so I'm going to pull up my loop and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to count and make sure we have 12 double crochet before we work this last flower. So we have three, six, nine, ten, eleven, and the last one is a little, little sideways, but there's our 12 double crochet to end. So perfect. All right. Do you guys think you can work the flower by yourself? I'll just, I'll just stay on camera with you guys. And then, uh, the last row of flowers that we do, I'll let you guys go off on your own. All right. So around the post of the very next double, we're going to work six front post chain threes. Pinch my work in half. One, two, three. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And six. One, two, three. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now just completely bring our work around. And we're going to work the exact same thing around the post of the next double. One, two, th three. <laughs> so that's one. Here's two, three, four, five, and one more. Six. Don't forget that chain three. All right, now unfold your work, and lay it out. Find the very first double, which mine's kind of over overlapping a little bit. I get this all moved around. I can see, and like I said, if you need to count, I'll start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right there is number 12. So there's I'm going to slip stitch into the first front post of our flower, chain one, and now fold this whole thing over. Just fold it to the side, follow these legs up, and right there you can see that little bitty loop. That's the loop of the double crochet that we need to work into. So if you lay it this way, or just move everything around, you can see it. right there. Oops, I lost my yarn over. You can see it right there. So work your double and now you should have 11 left for a total of 12 double crochet. Two, three, There's 11 and 12. 
All right, chain one and turn. And now you're just going to repeat rows seven, eight, and nine. So all you're going to do for row seven, well, this is row um, 11, 12, and 13. You're going to repeat seven, eight, and nine, which seven, eight, and nine are just row seven, double crochet. And if you need to count off just to make sure, double crochet and 12, fold that over, 12, fold that over, 12, chain one turn. Uh, that was 11, so 12, double crochet back across, chain one turn, 13, double crochet back across, okay? So I want you guys to work your uh, 11, 12, and 13, uh, just repeating seven to nine, just, just double crochet into each double crochet, chain one turn, okay? And I will get mine done, and when I come back, we will work the last row of the flowers, which is the three, the row of three double crochets, okay? Or the row of three flowers, sorry. Um, all right, so I'll get my double crochets done, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I double crocheted. I worked the uh, 11, 12, 13, and just repeated 7, 8, 9. All right, so row 14, we are going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of free reign on this one besides the the last flower up here. That's when I was going to show you how to do work your flower a different color if you want to do that. Uh, so again, we're going to repeat row six. So you're going to double into the first, double into the next five for six double crochets. Flower, I have no idea if that's the right one or not. Flower around the post of the very next, rotate. I shouldn't say flower, I should, I should say front post, double crochet, chain three, six times down one post, come back up the post of the double that you already double crocheted into, slip stitched into the first front post, find your top of your double, double crochet into the next 12. So the one you worked plus 11 for 12, work your flower again. But before you work that flower, make sure you have uh, six. Well, I, I said that wrong. So you're gonna double crochet six, flower, double crochet 12, flower, double crochet 12, and then work your, or before you work that last flower, make sure you have one, two, three, four, five, six double crochet left. And then work your flower, double crochet into the last six. All right, so I am going to go ahead and off camera, I'm gonna work my six double flower, double 12 flower, double crochet 12. And then before we st I start that last flower, I'm gonna come back, because I'm gonna show you guys, if you want to, if you, you know, you can make the whole, wash drag all of the flowers a different color but uh, for this one I'm just going to show you how I did how I do that one one little flower okay all right I I have full confidence that you guys got this if not just rewind the video and watch this row six all right I'll be right back all right so I've made it across my row and I've worked my 12 double crochet now, if you're not gonna change your color, go ahead and work your last flower, double crochet into the last six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I will meet you there. But if you want to change your flower color, count your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Make sure you got your 12 double crochet. And now what I want you to do is pop that last yarn over and pull through two out. So leave the two loops of your last double on your hook, just like that. Take your new color, which I'm gonna do this, wow, it's actually a dark purple. <laughs> and I'm gonna loop a long strand over my finger and then grab that with my hook and pull it through. I lost control of that. Pull it through, just like that. Now I'm gonna take the tail of that yellow and the tail of the purple and just drop that. 
but I'm taking both tails and bringing it to this hand and I'm just gonna hold it to the back, okay? And now I'm gonna start my front post just like we have, double chain three. And you can let go of these, but you can, uh, I'll show you guys how we work that in later. All right, so go ahead and finish your flower just like normal and I will be right back. All right, so I have worked my six down this side, six up this side, there's my sixth chain three. So to go back to our yellow or whatever your main color is, find the top of that first double, which this is pretty easy to see it's right there, and we're gonna go in, but we're gonna finish the slip stitch with the yellow. So I'm gonna get my yarn out of the way, grab this yellow, pull it through the top of that double, and through the top of the chain three. Chain one, and now bring everything forward, find that very next double, don't skip this one, and then double into your last six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, okay, so now all of us, <laughs> we are going to repeat seven, eight, and nine. So we're gonna chain one and turn, and then for those of you that chain, uh, change colors, what I want you to do is take your color the, and cut that and then you can get that out of the way. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie this in a little knot. Don't pull it too tight or it distorts the flower. Just like that. Alright, now leave these tails because this is going to help us not get lost in these doubles. All right, so just like before, double crochet into the tangled up, double crochet into the very first double. And double crochet into the next six. Or I'm sorry, five <laughs> for a total of six. So there's three four, five, and move my tail. Right there's six. All right, now move everything out of the way. Now for those of you that change colors, make sure you see the top of that very next double crochet and don't get confused with any of your tails or uh, color change right there. So count it off if you need to or look at the post right there. So there's one, two, three, all right, I think you guys got this. <laughs> I don't know what my deal is, my throat's been bothering me a bit. All right, so you just double crochet into the next. Make sure you get that flower out of the way so you're not missing your doubles. Double crochet into the next 12, get that out of the way, and then your last six. Chain one, double all the way across, chain one, double all the way across. And that will be the end of row 17. So what we're doing is repeating 7, 8, and 9, but that's going to be 15, 16, 17. All right? So I'm going to get my rows done, and then I, when I come back, we're going to work the very last row. And for those of you that did change colors, all I want you to do is take these tails, <clears throat> and I want you to bring it to the front of your work, right behind that flower just like that, so the tails aren't on the back. And then what we're gonna do is hide these tails through the legs of these doubles. Wish I had my sharper needle, but just go right through there. Skip a few strands, come back. I'm gonna do that one more time. Skip a few strands. I'm going to go all the way through, pull that through, and snip. And there we go. And now, get my little pull. And now, our 
flower color is hidden in our flower color so we don't have a random purple stripe right here or right here all right so go ahead and finish your 15 16 and 17 which is just repeating 7 8 9 and I'll be right back okay so I just finished my row 17 which is the repeat of row 9 and for row 18 we're gonna chain one and turn and work one half double crochet into each of those doubles. And that is all we're gonna do for row 18. All right, so you guys go ahead, work that all the way across and I will meet you at the last double crochet. Alright, so I work the last half double crochet right there. So now what we're going to do is start the V stitch border all the way around, okay? So after you work that last, last half double crochet, chain one and we're going to rotate just a tad and I want, I want you to come right around the post of that half double with one double. just like that. And then we're gonna go, come down and we're gonna skip. So, well before, let me show you what we got. Before we get started, let me show you. So when you come down the side of your work, what you see is a thick end of the row, a thin end of the row. Thick, thin. And what that is, this is the double in the chain one. This is just the double. This is the double in the chain one, and this is just the double. What we're gonna do is V-stitch into each of or well around the post of each of the double crochets so each of the the thin ones okay so let me get you back on here all right uh, I'm sorry chain one come down V stitch which is the double chain two double just yarn is so splitty just right around the post of that double chain one skip the the thick around the thin with the V stitch double chain two double chain one skip the thick around the thin with a double chain two right back in there with a double and get that little chain one in there. V stitch around the thin. Chain one. So you lay it out. This is what it should look like. Okay? And I'm just gonna stay with you guys because the end's right here. Alright. V stitch around the, the thin. that little chain one around the next little chain one around the next that little chain one all right so now we have the the thin but then we're right here at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around the thin, chain two, go back, oop, I forgot to yarn over, go back in there, but I'm not gonna chain one, okay? I'm just gonna come right into this far, so let me turn you guys this way so you can see what we're looking at. So what we have here, this is the chain two that we skipped at the beginning, and remember we worked that uh, that double crochet into there, into that chain two. So that's the chain. Uh, I, I'm going to say that's the, so this is the chain two. Here's the first skip chain. Here's the second skip chain. So we double crocheted into the second skip chain. So down here, 
what we're going to do is work our corner shell or V stitch into the first skip chain. And if you can't exactly find where it is, then it's fine. Just go straight into that corner, the farthest corner you can get down into. Remember, don't chain one after that V stitch, but we're going to go double into that far chain, chain three. rotate and then go back in there with another double. Just like that. So there is our corner. Okay. All right. So now across the bottom, what you see, I get my needle here. What you see are the legs of those fir the first row half doubles that we did. See the two little legs right there, right here? Those, that's the legs of that, of row one, the half double crochets from row one. And then what you see on this side are the remaining loops of the chain we worked into, right? So all you're gonna do, we don't work a, row, a chain one right here, okay? What we're gonna do is we are going to count right here is one half double, right here is one half double. So we're going to skip two, half double into the next, to the remaining loops of the next. So we're going to skip, skip, and on that next one, yarn over and just set your hook right on those where the legs come down. Put your hook right there and push. And you, what that does is pop your hook right through the remaining loops of that beginning chain. And then work your V-stitch. And we are not going to work the chain one across the bottom, okay? And the reason being is because we have a, what's, how do I want to explain this? We have, we'll have more V stitches across the bottom and across the top while we're at it than we will on these sides. So adding that little chain one along the sides help keeps these V stitches nice and straight, uh, standing up instead of laying one way, right? So across the bottom and the top, we don't need to add that chain one because we're going to have plenty of V stitches across, okay? So all you're going to do is work your V stitch, find your next two half doubles, see the legs here and here, and on that next one, just one, two, on your next one, put your hook right where the legs come to the remaining loops of the chain and push it right through, and that's where we work our V stitch. Remember, don't chain one. Skip two on the next one. Just put your hook right there and push through. One, chain two, go back in there. So again, skip two, put your hook right where the legs come together on the next and push. Skip two into the next. Skip two into the next. Skip two into the next. I'm just going to stay with you guys across this bottom because we're about, we're already about there. Dang it. in there. Skip two to the next. Skip into the next. Ah, just work it. All right, skip two. Skip two into the next, and you should have two. Two of the half double crochets left. So all we're going to do is rotate, and right where that slip stitch is in the very first chain right there, we're going to work our corner V stitch, which is the 
double, chain one, two, three, rotate, and go right back in there. Just like that. And now we're gonna go back to skipping the, the thick and V-stitching into the thin. So just go straight into there. I forgot, dang it, I'm sorry. We're gonna work the chain one again. So chain one, go around that thin with the double chain two, double. Chain one into the next, around the post of the next thin, mark your V, V stitch, so just like that. So there's your bottom. All right, so I think you guys got it. Each thin V stitch all the way, and I will meet you at that last uh, thin end, okay, just that double crochet. I'll meet you down there. All right, so I've made it up this side. I worked around that last thin. So now we're to our corner, so don't chain one right here. Yarn over and go into the top of that very first half double and work the double chain three, rotate right back in there with your double. All right, so now we're gonna skip two, uh, V-stitch into the next. And I am gonna chain one just to have that nice clean turn. So we're into this one, skip two into the next with our V-stitch. Now, now you don't skip, you don't uh, chain one through here, just skip two, V-stitch. Skip two, V-stitch. All right, so you guys go ahead and work that across your top. And I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and just um, pause the video because I'm already over an hour so I'm going to keep it as, as short as I can so alright I'll be right back alright so I've worked that across the top and you can see I skip two V stitch it to the next and if you look you will see one half double left and then this is the half the half double that we worked around at the very beginning. So what we're gonna do is go right into the top of this half double, skip one, go into the next half double with a double, chain three, and then slip stitch to the top of that very first double crochet, right there. Chain one, pull up a loop, and cut. There you go. There is that corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner. And that's what I got left. All right, so let's get these flowers straightened out a bit. Let's give them a pull. There you go. Now you can make several of these in different color combinations and then gift it with a bar, a bar of fancy soap. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you are the greatest. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Check out my description box and uh, of course, subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.